In listening to lawmakers and lobbyists, one hurdle SB 9 will face is the cost to the state. But those families that have lost a loved one to driver's choice to drink and drive say the cost doesn't come close to the pain they feel. You never expect your children to die, ever. Dawn Church's heart breaks for the daughter she will never see grow old. In 2016, Hannah was driving home when a wrong way drunk driver slammed into her car. Dawn was one of many family members at the Capitol Tuesday, asking lawmakers to toughen a first offense OWI, making it a criminal misdemeanor rather than a traffic ticket. Lawmakers who oppose the bill argue it would flood the criminal justice system and cost millions. Representative Jim Ott and State Senator Chris Larson are both sponsors of the bill. Both disagree with that logic. As far as flooding the court system, you know what, I don't care if it floods the court system. If somebody commits a crime, they ought to go before the judge. We need to actually make this as serious a crime and make sure that there's a consequence. We reviewed fiscal estimate reports from the Department of Corrections, Transportation, Wisconsin District Attorneys Association, and the State Public Defender's Office. Criminalizing a first OWI offense is expected to cost the state $7 million in the first year. And an estimated 42 additional full-time employees at the district attorney's office would need to be hired. So it's not like, oh, we can just pass that bill and it's going to make everything better. One of the most powerful lobbying groups in the state, the Tavern League of Wisconsin, has not given its position on criminalizing a first-time OWI offense. Lobbyist Scott Stanger says the $7 million estimate is low, but he is open to the idea. If it works, we should have that discussion. But it's a fiscal estimate of over $40 million, so it's a significant cost to the state. Don, along with others who have lost loved ones, ask, what about the cost of life? How about my daughter's funeral costs over $20,000? How about that cost? We're so worried about drunk drivers and the cost to everybody else. What about the cost to the victims? I have to live without my child every single day. What about that cost? What about the cost of counseling that I have to go to or the cost of medication so I can live without my child? Bill SB 9 is expected to get a public hearing in April, the first of many hurdles the proposed law will have to jump before the full assembly votes on the measure. We'll follow its progress. Reporting live, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4.